Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Core Keeper. So in this video, we're gonna talk about mining, but we're also gonna talk about some rare items, some super rare items actually. The fact that you only have like a 0.0% chance, 0.04% chance of getting them. We're talking about the Ancient Gem Necklace and the Ancient Gem Rings. Now, to get these, you're gonna have to mine. You're gonna have to mine a lot. And I'll show you why. So the odds of getting these, we're gonna go jump to the mining skill tree. You can see the path that we've taken here. So we kind of went catty, catty corner a little bit to get down here. You're gonna need this archeologist skill. So what this is gonna do, at starting off, you're gonna get a plus 0.2% chance to drop a valuable item from any mined wall. And as you go up, it's gonna go up by 2% to where you get a 1% chance of getting a, a, a rare valuable item from any mined wall. So that's gonna be dirt wall, sand wall, stone wall, clay wall, hive wall, mold dungeon wall, wilderness wall, any kind of wall, you're gonna have a 1% chance if you max this out. So basically you're starting with anywhere between 0.2 and 1% chance, which is not a lot. And we're gonna cover some of the uh, valuables that you can get from these, um, from mining these walls with this archeologist skill. So you're gonna look at the music bowl here, which is a valuable uh, antique board game, your seismic clock, ancient gem plate, an old journal, early human skull, and then a golden caveling mask. Now these are valuables that can just be sold to the NPC for money. They are worth a lot more than some of the regular valuables you'll get just from out exploring. But the things we're looking for are the ancient gem ring and the ancient gem necklace. Now the reason for this is twofold. So we know that the ancient pickaxe got nerfed. It had the 1,671 mining damage. That got dropped down to 302 as it was stated that it was a developer tool used to uh, break some of the walls. So a lot of people were you know, whining that the uh, the ancient pickaxe wasn't as strong anymore. Well, you can make it stronger. You can break stone walls in one hit. You can break the wilderness walls in two hits, and that's gonna come down to your mining damage. Now, if we look at my basic mining damage right now, we'll go back over here. We are at 118 mining damage. Now that's gonna be just from my 87 mining damage here. And then we have the, uh, the additional mining damage from right here. So 10% mining damage. So that's gonna put us at 118 mining damage. Now to make the ancient pickaxe stronger or any pickaxe, pickaxe that you're using actually, you're gonna to wanna to equip any kind of items or go down any skill tree that is gonna increase your mining damage or mining speed. This is definitely gonna help you just to get these items alone. And one of the sets of armor that you can do that with is the larva helm and the larva chest. Now the biggest uh, selling point for this is when you equip it, it's gonna disguise you as larva. Now that won't let you attack larva. The only thing it'll do is prevent the larva from attacking you. But I want you to look at two things here, 28 mining damage for the chest and 26 mining damage for the uh, for the helm. So we're gonna go ahead, equip these, and now we see our mining damage up to 177. There's something else here too. Ezios Beak Necklace will give you plus 41 mining damage. So if you're looking for these rare items, go ahead and equip that as well. And now we're up to 222 mining damage. So let's go ahead and equip our Ancient Pickaxe. That puts us at 554. So this right here should let you uh, destroy the wilderness walls in two hits and a stone wall in one. Everything below that, dirt, clay and stuff like that is gonna take one to two hits. So this is gonna allow you to search for these really valuable items a lot quicker. Your mining speed, we're only at 24%. Now the movement speed does take a hit right here from the larva um, armor, but what you can do is just get yourself a hardy pepper wrap right here and just keep procking those. You see we have over 860 of them, so that's gonna give us plus 21%. So we're gonna be moving at about 50% or 150 uh, movement speed with that on. So you can break through walls really quickly. And what these are gonna do is gonna give you plus three mining speed right there, and then plus 62 mining damage. So let's go ahead and equip two of those, and we're gonna stack those. Now we have 646 mining damage. Now these are really good for mining alone, so if you're exploring and stuff like that, but there's one other thing too. A lot of people were talking about how the uh, ancient pickaxe could be a really valuable weapon, and it can be still. Even after the nerf, it still can be. So what you're gonna look at is uh, 302 mining damage, we see 646 mining damage right here. You see what this does as a set, plus 14% of mining damage added as melee damage. One of the other things you look at through here, the mining skill tree is gonna be right here, 2% of mining damage added as melee damage. So I can go ahead and reset this, reset my points and get up there. So that's gonna add another 10% of mining damage added as melee damage. So that's gonna take, what, 10, and we said this is gonna be 14, so about 25% of our mining damage right there is gonna be added to melee damage. So we're already at 208, 254. That's definitely gonna increase right there. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to keep an eye out for these ancient gem rings and the ancient gem necklace. Plus it adds the plus three melee attack speed and a plus 17% critical hit damage. Now we talked about with the rare foods and everything, what that's gonna do with you as well as incre increasing your critical hit damage. 
So you can also use these when you set up your armor. So if you're done mining, you want to go ahead and use your Scarlet Armor, plus 3% crit chance on the pants, plus 4% on the breastplate, and another plus 2% on the Scarlet Helm. And you wear this whole set, killing an enemy increases critical hit chance by 3%, stacks up to 5 times. So that's going to increase your critical hit chance by 15% after killing an enemy. So that's a way that you can use this Ancient Gem Necklace and the Ancient Gem Rings, along with the Pickaxe, to make a really destructive uh, class for melee damage, use, utilizing that mining damage and getting added to melee damage. So get out there, start mining, increase that mining damage any way you can. The larva armor is a great way to do that. Asdios Beak Necklace is going to add plus 41 mining damage, and then the Ancient Pickaxe itself is going to have 302 mining damage. So get out there, get yourself an Ancient Gem Necklace, get yourself a couple Ancient Gem Rings. This took me probably a couple hours, and I ended up with, I think, five or six Ancient Gem Rings. So either I'm really lucky or or what but the ancient gem necklace i did only get one of those so that's what we got for this video guys that's how you can get the ancient gem necklace the ancient gem ring and that's a really useful way to increase that mining damage to getting turned into melee damage so thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe if you haven't already we'd love to have you join the community link in the description uh, to our discord channel where we talk about all things core keeper your builds exploration classes items bosses everything so with that being said take care of yourself take care of each other and as always stay original my friends we'll see you in the next one later